hello everyone and welcome back to the channel you know it's wolf and uh, you know tj the champ dropped a new video this one's the diabolical the diabolical trial of shredder you know i've only seen i don't remember um much of the teenage mutant ninja turtles from when i was growing up but that watch out for shredder from the from the original teenage mutant ninja turtles opening that 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 always that's always sounded cool to me you know but Let's check this out. Let's see how uh, how CJ is gonna uh, recount these dudes' diabolical actions or from uh <laughs> from the series, you know. So yeah, people. Yeah, if you're new to the channel, you know, see a wolf. You know, just 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 give me a subscription. You know, like the video also. You know, it also it helps in the YouTube algorithm. You don't know how much it helps because I've noticed if it does get a lot of likes, you know. It, it youtube doesn't push it so a lot of people get to view the video you know yeah but no pressure <laughs> so yeah people yeah let's get this you know yeah <laughs> let's see this let's see this maybe you've seen my dear friend Not nokotan reaction <laughs> I, just, I literally just finished doing that that that, that freaking yo that video <laughs> But yeah, let's let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> let's continue. <sighs> Watch out for Shredder! Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another trial of the round table. And a new yeah. challenger is approaching. Yes. Or if I want to be specific, challengers are approaching. But these challengers are all known under one name. And who is this man exactly? Well, uh, Let's just say this man has been beefing with Turtle since 1987. I brought yes. back some takeout. So like, let's get down and pig out. It's Shredder. Where? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Where? <laughs> That's probably Casey. But uh, why would he be in a, in a, in, in a Shredder? Shredder clothes. I mean, the Shredder. So everybody sit back and relax because the amount of evidence Let's and this up just I a little bit. This man no, is about to make this the most massive and ambitious roundtable trial to date. So without further ado, I'm going to pause a lot. So it's good when the actual content moves faster, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> it is time to commence the Shredder, Shredder trials. Yes. It is a bit of Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, the Utram Shredder. New York City, a city where you can find damn near everything from your bacon, egg, and cheeses, a random <laughs> getting sturdy on every single block, yeah. fat ass, <laughs> mutated rats, and of course, ninjas. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Ladies yes. and gentlemen, welcome to the TMNT version of NYC, where the streets are ran by ninjas. And to be specific, the Foot Clan ran yes. by none other than Oroku Saki, or also known as the Shredder. Now, this man Shredder basically ruled the streets of New York with a iron fist. He had every single rival gang and every single mob boss bend the knee. I mean, look at this first example. We got a run of the mill drug deal going on right now between the foot and some random ass mob. So bro right here come up and say, you got the stuff. Do you have the payment? Oh, we got the money, all right? So bro throws the briefcase to him, and Big Dog got the case and started counting the money on the spot. And when he finished, he was like, Do you play us for a fool? This is only half of what we agreed upon. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to get the other half after we take it off your dead corpse, bud. You have found your death warrant. No, 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 no. We look at the mob. <laughs> These boys are terrified. So they start shooting, and they just start beating the shit out of them. They stood absolutely no chance. And these were level one foot grunts, by the way. The yeah. foot grunts that Shredder treats like absolute garbage. I mean, look at these workplace conditions, my nigga. This man treats these foot grunts as his personal punching bags. First off, before they even start this beating session, they gotta glaze the nigga. They all got on one knee and started saying in unison, Master Shredder, our glorious king, we are honored to get our ass beat by you. So the reverse jumping session started. Foot nigga number one decides to pull a sword out, but look at this. Weave, roundhouse to the door. And he's just whooping their ass without even trying. Look at this. He bicycle kicked a whole grown man into another man. And look how he landed. A whole hoga ass in his face. And this just got absolutely 
And I honestly gotta feel bad for these level one foot ninjas because they probably go through this every day. He probably just yeah. beat their ass for entertainment. This is just straight torture, bro. And my yeah. God, if you ever failed this man. <laughs> well, let's ask yeah. this guy right here. So this random guy right here failed to steal this armored truck for Shredder because the turtle stopped him. So bro is pleading for his life right now. He is saying, but please, Mr. Saki, you must understand. I was attacked by some buff ass turtles. But Shredder looked at bro and said, shut your trap. You are fucking failure. No. Please! So he leaps at this man, and you just see the door shut. And all you hear is this man screaming and getting yes. his ass beat. And you never yes. see or hear from this man ever again. No. So guess what? Ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. Murder on aisle four. This is dead. But there was one man who suffered the absolute worst of Shredder's wrath because of his constant failures. And that is none other than Baxter Stockman. Holy yeah, that dude. what he did to this nigga Stockman. It is inhumane. First of all, you're probably wondering how Stockman even got in this situation. Well, he was a scientist working for Shredder. And one day, the turtles in April O'Neil blew up his lab. So while this man was trying to run away, he ended up running into Hunt, Shredder's big ass enforcer. So Hunt told Stockman, seems like you're in trouble, Mr. Stockman. And Stockman knew he was cooked, trying to yap and lie his ass off. But Hunt grabbed this nigga by the collar and walked him all the way back to Shredder. So they get back to base. And this mother Stockman was like, well, you see, Master Shredder, this is just a minor setback. Because with your funding, of course, I'll be back at work tomorrow. But this nigga Shredder grabbed his claw, got up and told him, nigga, do you think you're off the hook? You must pay for your failure, Stockman. So Hun drug him off to God knows where. And the next time you see Stockman, he has a scar and a eye patch over his eye. <laughs> he out his eye. He yo, yes, yo, no, nah, I, I, honestly, I don't remember that, bro. I don't remember that. I don't remember none of that. God. <laughs> I was a kid back then, so I was, I wasn't able to pay attention to the fine nuances of the adult themes of like the violence that was taking place and the maiming of um of people that that work for shredder i'm telling you yeah the dude got a freaking eye patch over his eye and a freaking eye patch got a scar over it too over the glasses straight up mutilated this man. And look how he treats this man on a daily basis. Stockman like, oh, Master Shredder with my Ivy League genius brains, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Shut your black ass up, Stockman. Mm. And guess what happened after this? He failed him again. <gasps> so again. they took him back to the torture chamber and Hun mutilated him again. And the next time you see Stockman, bro cut off his arm and paralyzed him. He turned this nigga to Charles Xavier. So <laughs> the price of failure yo when you fail yourself you only have yourself to deal with bro if you fail shredder you you lose body parts mm -mm. So I'm pretty sure y'all get how this works now. Every time this man fails, Shredder takes one of his body parts and this isn't even the last time but we'll save that for later and trust me it gets worse. <laughs> So his first confrontation with the turtles was a absolute beatdown. And before this even happened, Shredder tried to sweet talk this nigga Leonardo. He went up and told bro, uh, hello, nigga turtle son. We don't have to be enemies, my boy. So take this sword as my gift. So this man Leo went back to Master Splinter. And when he told him this, Master Splinter was like, oh, hell no, my son. Don't you dare trust that motherfucker. And this man Splinter was right because PTSD came and hit him like a train. Because years ago, when Splinter was the pet rat of Hamato Yoshi, the Foot Clan busted up in their house and jumped this man. So then Shredder came in and they started to torture him while Splinter was watching. Then after he was done, he picked the nigga right in front of his face. So yeah. now they knew who they was dealing with. So later on that night, while they're on a rooftop, they end up getting ambushed by the foot. And here comes this motherfucker Shredder. And this man came in pissed off. He was like, I gave you that expensive sword and you still decide to fight against me. Did you know how much that cost to me? Like what, uh, $50, bro? Try 50,000, nigga. Oh. Yeah. So Shredder sends his foot ninja to attack him. And while this man Mikey is just twirling around his nunchucks, Shredder comes from the top rope and drop kicks him across the building. <laughs> then he looks over at Leonardo. Bro said, come get some of this shit too. And over here, look at Donatello just spinning his staff like an idiot. Nigga think he Wukong. Shredder comes behind him and just throws him. And look at Donnie's stupid ass. You know he can't break throws. Then this man threw a sword to light the entire building on fire and just start staring down Leo and Raph. So they all- So, yo, what the hell did the Foot Clan do right there? They ran out to do something, but Shredder came out and did it anyway. 
So they was just there to freaking make the background seem like it was something was happening. What? <laughs> Yo. I'll jump up and Trevor just knocks him out both in the air. This nigga is cooking them. And then look at this. Raphael gets up just to get kicked off of the building into a yeah. dumpster. <laughs> he can't off a building. He got landed on a taxi. And then boys yeah. had to retreat because Shredder then destroyed the whole damn building. Uh, look yeah. at this motherfucker walk out the fire and saying, Oh, turtles, come out to play. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be shitting bricks if I was in their shoes. Yeah. So then he called over his foot ninja. He said, Foot ninjas, glaze me. Yes, Master Shredder. <laughs> if you want the pay raise, find those turtles. So Shredder had a bunch of foot ninjas just on the wild goose chase hunting these boys throughout the oh, entire shit. night until the turtles yeah. just decided it. we can't outrun the nigga so we might as well just fight him so later on they decide to have a standoff on the top of this roof so here yeah. comes this man Shredder, cool and he sheep. immediately said foot ninja jump the turtles so they got a whole brawl going on right now okay. and i'm not gonna lie to you this version of shredder does not believe in fair ones at all every chance he gets he's gonna jump you look at this nigga mikey just fighting for his life right now that was on a up ankle just for shredder to come out of nowhere <laughs> and send him flying i mean look at this nigga yeah. donatello is clearly getting jumped just for shredder to walk up to bro and tell him hey there little green nigga catch this four piece combo nigga ah! send this nigga Donatello flying while he was off guard this nigga don't believe in fair ones look at Leonardo this man is backpedaling just for Shredder to come behind him and try to sneak him bro got lucky Raphael bailed him out but they just ended up trading places cause Shredder picked this man Raphael up and threw him across the building and look at poor Mikey y'all already know what's about to happen Shredder sneaks this nigga and him flying to the wall and of course this man Leo's the last man standing just for him to run right into Shredder and bro just looked at him and said Night, night, nigga turtles. <laughs> So this Yo. man Shredder had him beat. The turtles are already down 2-0 against this guy. So right when he's about to deliver the killing blow, which is clear to the murder, by the way, Master Splinter comes down and bails out his sons. And this man Shredder was pissed. He told Master Splinter, Looks like New York's ever-growing rat pandemic has still been unsolved. <laughs> but Master Splinter was not about to take that disrespect. He led Shredder over to this water tower and gave him the bait of the century. He just started making bro miss so he would destroy the supports of the water tower. So when the tower started shaking, Master Splinter told him, This is for my Master Yoshi. So bro kicked the water tower on him. So <laughs> Watched off the building and the water tower fell on him. So Master Splinter then bailed these boys out. Cause they think Shredder is dead. And I mean shit. Anybody would. Nobody is surviving that shit. But we would soon understand that this man is fucking unkillable. And yes. Yes. That was so cheap, bro. Yo, um, when I was a freaking kid, bro. Nah. <sighs> okay. We didn't have cable. <laughs> as much as we would like to because right now yeah yeah we know yeah living as a freaking poor kid in the freaking ghetto you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> our mom uh, our mom yeah she did she did everything she could to make us comfortable so she when we did finally get back cable for, yo <laughs> this, this 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 stuff wasn't even airing on tv anymore so we uh we had to like watch the remakes that happened later on down the line and not in any one of them the the trev the treader ever die bro and then some interdimensional space space beings or some alien type shit started happening and i'm saying what this is not the teenage mutant turtles that i that i remember but yeah <laughs> And I mean this literally. Bro dodges death like ice spice shaking ass. It just comes natural to him. So about a good week later, Leonardo decided to go yes, on a morning sir. training run. And everything just seemed all fine. Master Splinter was like, oh, take care of yourself, my son. And make sure to get that 40-yard dash faster. You looked slow the other day. So yeah. Leo goes out on his morning training run. So about one hour later, it started to get a little worried. Donatello smart ass was thinking in his head, Man, what the sigma? It's eight o'clock sharp and Leo left at <laughs> 7 a.m. Usually it takes him about 30 minutes to run. Hey guys, what the fuck's going on? I don't know, bruh, but something is totally what the, what? off. And their suspicions were right. Stop because literally five seconds me. later, Leonardo comes flying through the window. And this nigga is beat the fuck up. And Leonardo's last words before he lost conscious was, <gasps> He's back. Yes, this man Shredder came back with a vengeance because while Leonardo was on his training run, Shredder sent his elite guard to jump this nigga. And when they was done, they took Leonardo's swords, gave it to Shredder, and bro bended his swords and snapped him in half like a stick. And not even a minute later, Foot Ninja started busting into April O'Neil's apartment. They said, we committing home invasion today. So the turtles had to retreat to get to the store downstairs before they got overran. So later on, when they got to the store, Shredder comes and kicks down the door. And bro walked in saying, one, two, three, four. How many? Nigga turtles are in my store. I know you're stealing. Well, um, actually, you're the one busting into April's store right now, so uh technically you're the one stealing, bro. You know what, yeah. Mikey? 
You actually got a point right now. Silent, <laughs> you little green shit. Quit all that yapping and come get these hands. So they dive in on him. And Raphael comes in first. But look at this. Bro hits the Counter. cuck of the century and punishes the hell out of him. Mikey comes in and gets cooked as usual. And here comes Donatello. He whiffs and looks at the sidestep. Bitch, get this man into a stripper pole. But nah, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta ask this question. Hey, bro, why the hell you got a stripper pole in your store? You damn freak. Shorty probably got a secret OF. So here comes Master Splinter. And obviously, Shredder wants his run back. So they start fighting again. But I ain't gonna lie. Shredder started getting cooked by this rat again. Because Master Splinter just had too much sauce. That's too much sauce. That's too much sauce. Yo, 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 yo. This dude just randomly drops in the, the, them, 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 them beats, bro. <laughs> yo. Yeah. And dripping out Master, Master Splinter like that. Yo, that's crazy. So bro ended up kicking a bookcase off him, and they decided to retreat in the cellar. So while the foot was trying to open up was the door, case? the cops ended up pulling up. So Shredder told his foot to disappear. But before he left, mm -hmm. he decided to do some crazy shit. Bro walked up to the cooler and locked them in. Then he pulled out a grenade Molotov, set the place on fire, and started leaking gas. And bro started to walk away and said, This is what y'all get for camping like some pussies. Say your prayers, <laughs> nigga turtles. So the gas started to leak, and and bro, blew up the whole block. This yes. is just ridiculous, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, this man had to have caught some bodies here. I mean, you literally see these police men get blown away. 99.9% yep. .9 of the time, a regular gun is not surviving that. So let's be real, they're dead. Now the turtles did get out of there because of a vit. But look at April, yes. she is devastated. She done lost her whole business and her whole apartment. And the whole crew basically had to leave New York. So Shredder effectively ran these niggas out of New York and put Leo in a coma. Bro was out for like a week. So the turtles turtles were covered as time passed and they decided to assault this man's lair so while they broke into shredder's lair they ended up finding some pretty dark things that shredder has done and that would be human experimentation because they found this lab and it consisted of a bunch of mutated shredders and also what? they was kidnapping motherfuckers they found this video of these foot mad scientists that was experimenting on people that they kidnapped and was mutating them into monsters so yeah this man is a sick nigga bro but anyways they get to the top floor to confront shredder but before they get the chance to fight, this motherfucker Baxter Stockman pulls up in a whole mech. So Shredder was like, Stockman, what the fuck are you doing? Well, Master Shredder, this is my Emancipation Proclamation, because I'm done being your motherfucking slave, nigga. So this man grabbed Shredder, started throwing him around, and dog walking him. Stockman was finally getting his get back from all the mutilation and the torture he's received. But yeah. his reparations would not last long. Shredder jumped up and just sent Bro to the shadow room. <laughs> like that. So I do got with like like all that all those upgrades for nothing, bro. <laughs> yeah. That altercation, Shredder was like, now then, let's get down to business. Shredder starts whooping their ass. So here comes Master Splinter trying to bell out his sons again. But this time, it wasn't gonna work. Shredder jumps up oh, and roundhouses this nigga through the glass and one for the damn building. Shit, bro got lucky. This was Leonardo saving his life and not Spider-Man. Because we all know what happened last time Pete was in this situation. <laughs> Blew that back out. But while Leo was saving Master Splinter, everybody else was just getting their ass kicked. It looked like Shredder at this point was just having fun. Then later yeah. on into the fight, he ends up pulling out this sword called the Sword of Tengu, which is a mystical sword that he had made a long time ago. We will learn about this soon. But he ends up blasting the turtles and knocking Ooh. them all out. So they was fighting for their life at this but yo, a few a few frames ago, yo, they, um, I think Leo had that in his in his back. Like they came to use it against him. But as he said, we will learn about it, uh, uh <laughs> learn about it later. So yeah point because Shredder's using this busted ass sword but they ended up knocking it out of his hand so Leo could grab it and Leonardo and Shredder stood off for one final strike and well mm. the plot kicked in hard and Leonardo ended up decapitating the Shredder so now the battle is over and the turtles have defeated the Shredder or so they thought because yes. this man got up grabbed his head and walked off into the fire and how the <laughs> hell did he do this well this is where shit gets crazy yes the Shredder Trials. Uh, yes, bro. Exhibit A wrap up. Multi well, well, like, like before the wrap up, no, like the creators of this of this freaking um series literally made an immortal villain, bro, so that they can freaking perpetually <laughs> continue to make episodes of this thing. But it didn't, it, it, it didn't, it didn't last long because you know they had different remakes for it. So yeah. Multiple counts of murder, mutilation, torture, kidnapping, home invasion, trafficking, racketeering, property damage, yes. multiple counts of attempted murder, yes. assault on multiple counts. Exhibit what about the human experience? Human Alrighty, experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Shirelle. Now, <laughs> let's get the elephant out the room. This nigga is not a Rokusaki. 
This motherfucker is an alien. <laughs> Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, meet yeah. Sherelle, the universal genocidal maniac. This is the worst criminal in the universe, and he is also the Utrom Shredder. Now, it's time to go back to the 11th century. Now, this alien race called the Utroms are a very peaceful race, but there was one outlier, and that was Sherelle. Now, currently, yeah. they have him in custody, and they're taking him back to the planet to be tried for his crimes against the universe. But Sherelle was not going to let that happen. So, later on, Sherelle ended up escaping and overriding the ship's engines, making the ship crash on the nearest planet, and that planet was Earth. Now, the Utrons were very technologically advanced, but since Earth was basically so far behind back then, yeah. they couldn't repair their ship, so they were stranded. So, they decided we might as well just blend in and live with these people so with the technology they had they made exosuits so they could blend in with humans so one day when this utron was taking an exosuit on a test drive he ends up falling into a trap he gets six flying by a log and this trap was set up by none other than Sherelle. and he looked <laughs> at the poor little nigga in there and said <laughs> what a wonderful toy little nigga so yeah. he carjacks this little nigga. Then he decides to just pick him up and just throw him. Who knows where that little nigga just landed? But after this is where everything makes sense. We see these Utroms working, and they end up getting attacked by foot ninjas. And they are being led by none other than the Shredder, a.k.a. Yeah. Shirelle. This version yes. of Shredder that we have been talking about is a 1,000-year-old alien that established the Foot Clan back all the way in the feudal era of Japan. And look at this man. He is beating the dog shit out of these Ultra. And look at Buddy right here. He's just like, oh, what, what is the meaning of this? What, what have we done to you? What have you done to me? Oh, simply breathing the same air as me. Yeah. Look at him. He is boxing this nigga up. This motherfucker Box. been jumping nigga since the 11th century. Yeah. Now, y'all remember that sword? The sword of Tengu? This is when it was made. So he had blacksmiths build him a sword that was salvaged from the Utrom technology. So the blacksmith presented him with a sword, and the blacksmith told him, Oh, yes. Now, are you ready to discuss payment, Lord Shredder? Payment? <laughs> oh, I will gladly give you payment. So he aimed the sword at them and blew it up. Like, nigga! Why? They gladly built that sword for you, and you just bloomed the pits. <laughs> okay, nigga. Triple homicide on all three. Yeah. So after this, throughout the century, Shredder just expanded the foot to what we know it is as today, and has been beefing and has been trying to kill all the Utrams ever since, and anybody allied with them. Because y'all remember Master Yoshi, Splinter's Master? Yeah, he has been allied with the Utrams and has been beefing with Shredder for years. He even corrupted his best friend to defect and fight to the death while he watched. Like, this man is 100% pure evil. Not a single yeah. redeeming quality. Quality. So now yeah. let's go back to the present. Now, after this man dodged death again, I mean, this man had a fight with the Utrons and the Turtles and survived oh, a building shit. that imploded on him. Yes. Still to this day, I don't know how bro survived this. He decided yes. to take out his anger on none other than Baxter Stockman. Now, mm -hmm. as we saw earlier, Stockman tried to kill Shredder, but failed miserably. So yes. Shredder decided it was time for some more punishment. And I mean, severe punishment. <laughs> Because the next time you see Baxter Stockman, this man has been reduced to a brain and, and an eyeball eye. in a tube! Yo, 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 <laughs> yo, yo, I don't, I don't even recall that, bro. I don't recall that, but that is heinous. Yo, he is beyond redeemable, bro. And yes, now that explains the they explain the immortality aspect, the immortality aspect that he's just a freaking alien, like li living in the stomach of an like a humanoid automaton or humanoid um freaking robot. But yeah, <laughs> what the hell did Baxter do to you, Mikey? What did he do to you? This, in honest to God, is a fate worse than death. This man has lost his body, and the only thing he has left is his nervous system in a jar. And what was the most fucked up thing, Shredder looked at him and told him, mm, Baxter Stockman, it seems that you have overdosed on Ozempic. And then look at this, <laughs> he shocking this man in the tube. This is this still torture. horrible. The fact that this was shown on four kids is insane. Be yes, that, that right there. That right there, that was cartoons for kids back then. And we didn't really understand that the, the, the severity of what happened right there, bro. We, back then, I didn't even recall this. We didn't even know enough to know that that was a brain right there. I'm telling you. Because we sl and this goes to show that people, back, even back then, 
even if it had adult or clearly morbid or freaking gore in it because it is drawn and animated they they put it in the cartoon category i put it for kids yeah but that yo you know much children probably be traumatized by that bro probably not a lot because they didn't understand what was going on slowly watch this dude get mutilated and reduced all the way to a brain in a jar crazy work bro so fast yeah. forward a couple days later and the turtles confront shredder on this ship so obviously shredder starts talking shit immediately ah uh, nigga turtles fancy that you are here because now you can be test subjects to my new football roger, roger. so this robot walks up and blows this crap <laughs> So a whole yeah. brawl ends up breaking out. And of course, Shredder and Splinter face off again. And poor old Master Splinter got his ass whooped. Like, Shredder was teeing off on this nigga. Yeah. Like, you can see the pain in Master Splinter shaking his head like, Oh, oh Lord, 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 I'm getting too old for this shit. So a big ass explosion goes off. And Splinter oh. ends up getting knocked down. And Unk is not getting up. Somebody need to call Life Alert for this old nigga now. Because Shredder's mm. about to kill this man. But this Triceraton rams Shredder away. So he ends up boxing with Dino nigga. And this big ass motherfucker picked him up and threw him across the ship. And hammered him in him into this fire pit. So yeah. Big Dog thought he won. He was like, victory for the Republic! But the turtles was like, yo, turn around, bro! Because this motherfucker Shredder got up and stabbed him oh. in the boot. Man. He always I mean, it looks like he stabbed him in the ass. So while no. Shredder's walking over to kill the turtle. <laughs> no, no, he did not. Yeah, but I know for that Diddy joke to work, you know? <laughs> Dino nigga gets up, bear hugs Shredder, takes him over to the fire pit, and falls in with him. So you gotta think, no way Shredder survives this. The ship literally blows up and bro got dragged down to the bottom of the ocean by yes. Dino nigga. He survived. Well, uh, he lives to see another day. I will say this once and I will say it again. This man is unkillable. Oh, and I'm by the way, you. Dino nigga's dead. That man did not come out that water. So his sacrifice is in vain. So we got yes. another murder on our one. So. I'm telling you, Orochimaru will love to have a conversation with this dude. <laughs> After this, Shredder decides is in vain so we got another murder on our one so after this shredder decided to do another nefarious act so the city of beijing became a floating city after the triceratons tried to invade earth so shredder what? wanted the thing that was making the city float so you know what bro decided to do steal the thing and try to drop the city on the earth but dog this nigga is an actual maniac and guess what when hun and baxter stockman failed to get the job done he made these boys slaves no. I'm not kidding. <laughs> he got these niggas working in a steel mill in chains. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga Baxter Stockman needs reparations immediately. Because his brother done lost his body, and now he a damn slave. And look at Shredder come in. Stockman was like, oh, Lord, Master Shredder, I I'm working diligently. Nigga, did I say that you could speak? <laughs> Lord bless his brother. So more time would pass and Shredder would start gaining more influence in the city. I mean, he had the mayor on his payroll yeah. and he started to build a ship because he wanted to go to the home planet of the Ultrams and conquer their planet. But the turtles was not having that shit because if they don't stop him now, he's going to take over the galaxy. What so they pull up on Shredder and they don't sugarcoat it. They start jumping the hell out of this man. Yeah. Like this shit was crazy. They had bro stumbling and shit. Bro fell to the ground and he was like, in all my centuries, I've never had my ass beat like this. So y'all know Shredder was not about to go out like no bitch. Bro pops up and starts yeah. Yeah. The hell out of everybody. Planted Ooh. these niggas on a wall and split yeah. from the top rope. But Vol caught the sword and kicked him across the room. So Shredder yeah. ends up Ow. fleeing all the way to his ship and he takes off into space. So it was time for the final confrontation. So Shredder pulls up in his final box armor that's got four fing arms on some General Grievous shit. So yeah. Shredder, with the help of his delusional daughter, Karai, start whooping their ass. Like he's just throwing Ooh. these niggas. Yeah. And then look at this. They tried to run up and electrocute bro, but bro grabs the wires from him and he electrocutes Master Splinter. Unk was done Dang. for it. Then bro stepped behind Leonardo, booted him all the way to Karai, and she stabs him. Leonardo was cooked. Then it was Raphael's turn. Bro grabs him and hits him with the GPS. This nigga think he's seeing Buck. And here come Mikey, <laughs> his legs taken out and stomped on. And of course, here comes Donatello coming to get washed like usual. This brother's mm -hmm. smart as hell, but goddamn, he the one that get his ass beat the most. And Shredder has defeated the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He won the final battle. So while he was about to kill Leonardo, Karai comes in and stops him. And this man was pissed. He was like, daughter, what the fuck? What are you doing? Father, this is dishonorable. Have you no honor, my nigga? Honor. Bitch, fuck all that shit. Uh -huh. Bro just a bitch slapped his own daughter and is about to kill her. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga's terrible. But right before this was about to happen, the Ultrams pulled up, stopped time, and warped everybody off the ship because they was what? coming back to Earth. They have time control, bro. <laughs> like, oh, okay.
to arrest this nigga. So we end up going to the Utram homeworld and they are about to put this man on trial for all the atrocities he has committed. And my God, when you hear some of this shit, it is absurd. So the first thing that they bring up that on this one planet, their ruler Dolph Ed testified that he willingly launched an attack on this planet called Enif Gold and over 1 million innocent people were killed. Yeah. Oh, but we're not done. Man. Next up, this alien Wan Ron Otho proved that he incited a civil war on this planet called Eno 2 in an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction. Now guess how many people died during this? A whopping 3.2 million. This nigga's body count is in the millions. And I he saw is. one comment before I made this video. Something said, he's making a video on Shredder. What does bro do? Doesn't he just fight turtles? <laughs> Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. And then they got him on conspiracy to overthrow the government. So all yeah. the Ultrams in the Galactic Council came together and said, Sherell, we the Galactic Council find you guilty and you will be banished to eternal exile. Nani? So they exiled this man to a freezing planet. And that was the end of the Utram Shredder. Until he decided to try to destroy the multiverse, of course. <laughs> the Shredder Trials. <laughs> Exhibit Yo. B wrap up. Multi Yo, if you have a way, just try to kill the dude, bro. Just try to get, just try to end it. <laughs> Yo, there's nothing, <laughs> unless he can come back from be dead as if they killed his Ultram form and not the freaking mechanical attachments. Multiple assaults, bribery, conspiracy, mutilation, attempted mass murder, multiple yeah. counts of murder, yeah. slavery, multiple counts of genocide. Exhibit C. Yes. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final exhibit. And that, of course, is multiversal destruction. So after Shredder got exiled on the frozen planet, he ended up getting saved by none other than the 1987 Shredder. Now, the what? reason why he did this is because, well, the 87 Shredder is kind of a Is this nigga serious? And he was tired of getting his ass beat every episode. So he wanted to see what he could learn from his other counterparts. So of course, he chose the evilest one out of all of them, the Utram Shredder. Now, Utram Shredder obviously betrayed 87 Shredder because this <laughs> nigga's an idiot. And he decided, I'm gonna destroy every Every single Ninja Turtle that ever existed. So he took over 87 Shredder's Technodrome and stunted to wreak havoc across the city. Shit, the whole military pulled up. They called the Army, Air Force, Marines, and they yeah. couldn't do nothing. Yeah. They ended up becoming cannon fodder. This yeah. nigga was killing multiple people. Yeah. And this maniac is just laughing while he's committing mass murder and destroying the city. <laughs> this mother is crazy. It got to the point 87 Shredder and Krang started to question this. Stuff. They walked up to him and said, ah, what the devil are you doing? Let's just destroy the turtles and be done with it. Yeah, destroy them already, man. So, Krang is different from, 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 from Ultram Shredder. Okay. Because I know that uh, Krang uh, was involved at one point. So, yeah. You bum ass niggas dare question me? Shut the fuck up. Dog, he's gotten to the point where he's abusing his own counterpart. Nasty work. So yeah. later on, this man ended up capturing the 2003 Turtles and the 1987 ones so he could use their DNA to find the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he found Turtle Prime, which was the world of the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1984. And he starts yeah. to destroy their world. This nigga's destroying the first comic. He's a fucking maniac. <laughs> so it was time for the final, final battle. So to save the multiverse, the 2003, 87, and 84 Turtles along with 87 Shredder, Krang, Karai, and Master Splinter was about to jump this man because if he destroys this universe, everybody gets erased from existence. Yes. So this motherfucker turned into a giant and he said, oh, this is my lucky day. I count 12 turtles, a rat, my bitch made counterpart, a <laughs> big blob, and my thought, daughter, oh, you can suck my giant show. So this man just starts to destroy everything. This stupid ass nigga Krang turned giant just to get his ass in. Yes. <laughs> and this man turned his hand into a Gatling gun and started spraying and praying. And this just ended up becoming a whole episode of AOT. Because this man done became a damn titan and he trying to stomp on niggas now. Yes. So then he snatched the 84 turtles and started squeezing them to death. And this took everybody up. Because since they're dying, everybody's dying. Even Shredder himself. So Karai pled to him. She tried to talk no juice to him. She said, Father, please, are you willing to destroy yourself for some damn titles? And he stopped for a second. But then he thought to himself and decided, 
you little green shits are the bane of my existence. So if I die too, so be it! So yeah. this man is about to destroy everything, even himself. This nigga is crazy! Bro yeah. is willing to destroy himself just so they don't exist. This might be the craziest hate boner of all time. Dio, you got competition, buddy. So right yeah. before the multiverse is about to be erased, this man ends up getting hit by ninja stars. In 87, Donatello actually came in clutch. It's a miracle. And Shredder ended up getting hit by his own techno drum laser, evaporating him and finally putting an end to the Utrom Shredder. Dang. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, with all of these charges, there should be no debate he passed this trial. We are roundtabling this nigga now. This little bastard is the definition of a menace to society. Yes. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, one trial down and two more to go. So now I know the question's coming. CJ, when's the second trial dropping? Well, I got good news for you. I'm already damn near done with it. So <laughs> until we return, the jury is adjourned and the trial of the Utrom Shredder comes to a close. Yeah. Yo, nah, yo, the CGI sh shredder is probably next, bro. Cause that CGI shit looked like look 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 awful, bro. Looked awful. I'm telling you, guys, yo. I'll see you in the next one. You know, subscribe and all of that. You know, comments. Yes, I I I I would very much appreciate that. And like so that you know YouTube just pushes out in the algorithm. Yeah, it helps me out a lot, and I appreciate it. Yeah, guys, see you in the next one, <laughs> whichever what it may be, you know. Peace out, Itekimasu. Let's get this, let's get it, you know. Later, people.